Hello there. Accelerated Math 1-2 is a course that is offered to ninth grade students. The recommended preparation is a grade of B or better in Accelerated Math 8. Accelerated Math 1-2 is the third course of a four-course accelerated sequence that began in seventh grade, and it compacts five years of math into four years. The content of the course includes the second half of Integrated Math 1 and three-fourths of the Integrated Math 2 standards from the California frameworks. The major topics of this course include an introduction to exponential equations, statistics, constructions, congruence through transformations, congruence theorems, similarity, circles, and quadratic functions. This is the course catalog description for AP Calculus AB. A strong foundation in both algebra and trigonometry is necessary to be successful. You will be required to study outside of the classroom, so make sure you have time to devote to this class. It is required that you do homework in order to be successful in the class and on the AP test. Students should be able to build conceptual understanding and make connections with fluency. Here are the topics covered not only in the class, but also on the AP test in May. If you're up for the challenge, we can't wait to meet you next year. Hello everyone, this is Ms. Tang, and this is the description for AP Calculus BC here at Cerritos High School. So this is a class for 11th through 12th grader. It is an advanced placement course that will be covering the topics determined by College Board. This will be equivalent to taking Calculus 2 in college. And the AP exam is actually going to be a cumulative topics from AP Calculus AB and AP Calculus BC. So we will do a lot of reviewing of AB materials as well. Here are some topics that are BC only. And you might be wondering, well, which majors in college will I need to take AP Calculus BC? Thank you for watching. Hi, welcome to Cerritos High School Math Department. This is for Mathematics 1. For Mathematics 1, grade level, this is for a grade level of 9 or 10. Recommended preparation for this class is a grade of C or D in Math 8. Mathematics 1 is the first course of the three course sequence, which satisfy the California Common Core Standards for Integrated Mathematics 1. Math 1 class will cover Hi, thank you for inquiring about the course Math 1 AB. Here at Cerritos, you get the privilege of having an alternative option to earn Math 1 credit. Instead of taking Math 1 over a course of one year, you can complete your Math 1 requirement in three semesters or one and a half years. If you earned a D or an F in your middle school math courses, this class is for you. We work through the material at a slower pace, giving you more time to grasp the information so that your foundation is strong. We will cover linear functions, equations, inequalities, sequences, mathematical modeling, and one variable descriptive statistics. The rest of the Math 1 content will be completed in the following course, Math 1C. Thank you for your time and happy scheduling. Hello and welcome to Cerritos High School Math Department. Today we're looking at the course of Math 1C slash Math 2A. These courses are each a semester in length and are offered at a slower pace than the traditional Math 1 and Math 2 pacings. These courses are for grade levels 10th and 11th grade. The recommended preparation is to successfully complete Math 1A slash Math 1B. And lastly, this is a California State Standards based course. As we look at concepts covered in Math 1C slash 2A, in Math 1C, we'll start off by covering the statistical process, then get into looking at one variable statistics. We'll be doing analysis of data sets and the measure of center. We'll look into standard deviation, two variable categorical data, and end the semester with geometric transformations. For Math 2A, we'll start off by doing proofs of geometric theorems, look at congruent and similar triangles and end the semester with functions. Thank you. This is the Cerritos High School course description 
for Math 2, course number 4485. It is recommended for grade levels 10 and 11. It is a one-year course that satisfies the common core standards for integrated Math 2. The Math 2 course focuses on the following areas. Laws of exponents, including rational exponents. Compare key characteristics of quadratic functions to linear and exponential functions. Create and solve equations and inequalities involving linear, exponential, and quadratic expressions. Extend the work with probability, similar triangles based on dilations and proportional reasoning, and consolidate functions in geometry to create models and solve contextual problems. Hello and welcome to Cerritos High School Math Department. This is for the course of Pre-Calculus. This course is for grade levels 11th and 12th grade. Recommended preparation is to have successfully completed Math 3 with a C or better. And lastly, this course will prepare students for AP Calculus AB. Some concepts covered in pre-calculus are Hello, my name is Christina Preciado, and I will be giving you an overview of the integrated Math 1 Plus Honors class. The following are recommended prerequisites and prior knowledge. The following are topics that we cover both first and second semester. A strong foundation and fluency in the following content is necessary. Can't wait to meet you next year. Thank you, Ms. Preciado. Hi. Welcome to Stats, Reasoning, and Sports. I'm Mr. Pack. I teach Stats, Reasoning, and Sports with Mrs. Foss in the math department. Prerequisite for the course is passing Math 3. We would love to see you in our class, and we'll see you there. Hi, Math 2BC is a full year course that's offered to students. It is primarily juniors that are in the class. It's the third part of the stretch of the um, stretch classes. It does meet the uh, three year requirement for graduation from ABC. Um, uh, they are UC approved classes. One of the goals is to have the students continue with their math um, once they complete this course and go on to math three so that um, they have an opportunity to attend a four-year school post high school graduation. We use the same textbooks as the other classes, but we cover primarily the second semester of math two, but we have a full year to do that. The classes are generally smaller, so they get more attention in class. I'm uh, Wade Verrier. I've been teaching AP Lit for over 20 years and uh, I'm going to keep doing it for the next 20 years, I think. <laughs> so in AP Lit, we uh, focus on fiction. Uh, you might have heard of AP Lang. They focus more on what we call nonfiction or essays. This is more um, studying poetry, drama, novels, and short stories. So we kind of analyze the style, the tone, the theme, the meaning, the structure of those works. So I guess ask my students to come prepared. Uh, there's no homework over the weekend. There's no homework over summer vacation or any vacation during the year. But uh, we want students to read and come prepared to discuss and share their ideas uh, with the class. There are no prerequisites for AP Lit. Come, anyone can be a part of it. Come enjoy an AP Lit class before you graduate. It'll totally pay off. You'll pass the AP exam, hopefully. And um, you'll be prepared for college and uh, you'll definitely meet, make, uh, make friends that'll last a lifetime. Yeah, you know, we spend the first quarter uh, doing the college essays, so I can guarantee you'll have the best uh, college essays, for sure. Uh, it'll prepare you for the AP exam and it'll actually prepare you for success in college or in a career of your choice, because Anybody uh, in any career needs to be able to communicate clearly, write, analyze, and that's what we do.